Vaccines from Pfizer, BioNTech, Moderna and Oxford AstraZeneca will be the first to reach European citizens, but there are substantial differences between them, from their composition to their price and distribution capacity. Both Pfizer and Moderna's vaccines use messenger RNA technology, a technique that involves injecting genetic instructions into the body. This stimulates the cells to produce a protein that will help create antibodies to prevent further infections. For its part, the Oxford AstraZeneca prototype is based on an attenuated version of the chimpanzee common cold virus, also known as adenovirus. It uses the speckle on the surface of the coronavirus, which is able to stimulate an immune response. This last prototype prevents COVID-19 in 70% of the cases, although in some dosage regimens its percentage has risen to 90%. Meanwhile, the RNA vaccines have shown more efficacy in the final analysis of phase 3, around 95%. Differences in composition also result in differences in price, with Oxford's vaccine being much cheaper than Pfizer's and Moderna's, which can cost up to 31 euros for each of the two doses a person needs. The storage, transportation and manipulation conditions also benefit the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, as it can survive for six months in a standard refrigerator. The Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, however, is much more complicated to manage. It needs to maintain an extreme cold chain of up to minus 80 degrees Celsius. In an intermediate situation is the Moderna prototype, which can remain stable for 30 days at between 2 and 8 degrees, although for a longer period it would need to be stored in standard freezers at minus 20 degrees Celsius. The European Union has already purchased dozens of millions of these vaccines and is working on the challenge of their distribution, but they are not the only ones being tested. Johnson & Johnson, Sanofi and the Chinese and Russian vaccines will all soon publish their results. Lucia Riera, Euronews.